Ladies and gentlemen, let me start with an incident which changed the course of my career. In 2012, while I was working in a government hospital in Kathmandu, I received a call from emergency department for a case of heart attack. I rushed to emergency and I saw the patient. I counseled the patient and relatives for the procedure called emergency angioplasty and he was shifted to the cath lab. Emergency angioplasty is a procedure performed for the treatment of heart attack. It is life-saving procedure. It is performed by a trained cardiologist in which the closed obstructed artery is opened with the help of different devices and blood circulation is restored and thereby saving life of a patient. Meanwhile, I saw another patient presented in emergency with similar complaints and I attended the second case and advised the similar procedure and I started counseling the patient relative. But the son of the patient didn't agree for the procedure. And she remained in emergency despite my every effort. I was not able to convince him for the procedure. And she later on died in emergency in, fr in front of all of us. While the first patient who was taken for procedure survived after successful treatment and later on was sent home. So I was witnessing that event very closely and what I saw that two patients coming with similar problem, coming with the same hospital with proper facility, one dies and one survives. Why? The reason was wrong decision of the son and the worst part was son was not realizing that his correct decision could have saved the life of his mother. I could see how lack of simple medical information could be the reason between death and life. So that episode created huge impact on my thought. It was an eye opener for me because in 2012 it was beginning of my career as a trained cardiologist to do this highly technically challenging procedures and in very short period of time within one year of my initial work I got good recognition among the patients and among the medical fraternity with my skill of saving heart attack patients. But I realize that this is the situation of Kathmandu Valley. What may be the situation of the remote part of Nepal where you can understand the limited health care, delivery and lots of other issues. So I thought, no, intervention is not the solution. In my lifetime, I can hardly treat few cases and serve only few number. But if I work in the area of prevention by raising awareness to prevent, detect and treat heart disease, probably I could help large number of people, large number of Nepalese. So with this idea, I thought of two approaches, one educating general public and another was to educate the primary health workers who are in first contact with the people in the country with the, uh, such cases of heart attacks and other heart disease or similar critical illnesses. So it was not an easy decision to uh, start prevention along with treatment because doctors are more inclined for treatment because it is immediate rewarding it gives you satisfaction once you open the closed artery patient survived and you go outside and explain the patient party your patient is out of danger 
and they tell you oh doctor you are like a god so nobody wants to leave this job and go to convince patient to stop smoking reduce your weight to stop uh, consuming alcohol treat diagnose uh, treat hypertension diabetes and so on it's very difficult job so prevention is a very hard work behind the curtain underrated not recognized but it, this treatment part is very fancy very glamorous everybody knows oh so challenging he has opened the artery now my patient my father my son has survived so it was a tough decision for me to cont- to start working in the field of prevention so i started writing articles for different newspapers conducted seminars organized radio and inter- uh, radio and television interviews on different topics to prevent heart disease then i realized that it was insufficient i realized the need of writing a book it took one and a half hours of my important time i was recently married at that point of time so i was engaged in writing book so one and half hour, one and half year of my crucial time i ended up writing mopani doctor which was launched in 2013 by then president uh, dr ram baran yadav and not only this i distributed more than 5000 free copies to health workers during my seminars and presentation in various places of country but whenever i used to present whenever i used to conduct interview i was always asked what is the data on the nepalese population how on what basis you are telling that heart disease is increasing in younger population why you are like what is the evidence why you always quote western data and who data then i was motivated to do a research and doing research is not a easy job in our part it costs lots of effort and money so on my personal effort i conducted one of the largest heart camp in nepal and that included 5500 individuals we not only did the research we served them with free investigations and medical advices we utilized that opportunity to raise awareness in 2014 10 years from now be- before and we did a research to find out the causes of heart disease in young population in 2014 young healthy adults what is the prevalence of causes of heart disease so this was a big attempt more than 200 volunteers were involved in th- in that camp and the research finding of this camp was alarming almost all participants had m- more than one risk factors for development of heart disease so this was very alarming situation 10 years back and it was published in nepal health research council journal and for that effort i was awarded the best research paper of the year by nepal health research council but problem was so huge because in nepal more than two third of mortality is because of non communicable disease and mostly because of heart disease and heart disease kills more people of poorer country and money earning age group population are more affected by heart disease so i you can understand what will be the situation in our part of world so we say that problem comes with solution so for me solution was emergence of social media use in nepal so i started posting regularly on facebook and the platform of facebook was utilized to present complicated medical terms terminology and things in form of very simple illustration demonstration so that i could reach large number of audiences within short span of time and complex information was presented in very easy way to for the common people gradually the my facebook posts gained popularity among the nepalese audiences and with the help and trust of audiences last year in 2023 2023 i set a guinness world record 
in the field of health awareness not to show my personal talent in the field of health awareness guinness world record was established i had made another world record which i came, uh, came to know very late in 2013 and 14 i had conducted 44 consecutive weekly interviews radio interviews on heart disease prevention and that was later listed in world book of record london that was also on the prevention ladies and gentlemen these achievements were not without sacrifices at present i have more than 1.3 million followers in my facebook i have widespread nationwide recognition i am able to bring changes in the life and lifestyle of large number of nepalese living in nepal and abroad but i have to lose few things to achieve this i had to sacrifice my personal and family time few hours on daily basis for more than a decade 12 years now i had to invest my personal income for those research for those awareness activities for all those awareness activities i have to use my personal income and on top of that i was criticized by doing all this work i was criticized in a different way and one of the most touching criticism was i am a facebook doctor <laughs> in nepali facebook a doctor because i hang around facebook more often let me tell you i am one of the busiest clinician in country i have to see large number of patients on daily basis and i hardly have few hours for me and for my family which i cut and give here and then people will tell you that you are a facebook doctor then how you feel okay no problem i lost that gratification which i used to feel while treating heart attack patients it was very rewarding procedure but i had to cut down those work to give more time for prevention but at the end with the maturity what i have learned is in life to gain something you have to lose something so with all these achievements and now looking back i am satisfied with my decision with my efforts and with the outcome i don't have any regret because i know if i i have not have done this preventive works probably i was not being so recognized so well as i am as of now so with you with uh, using this platform finally i want to tell a uh, one message that power of prevention is enormous thank you very much Thank you so much Anil sir. Now I'd like to request Mr. Suman Karki to present with a token of love to Mr. 